Okay, so uh, in this project, what we're going to be doing is prepping this newly in installed 4 and 5 eighths pre primed crown molding. Um, and it's finger jointed pine. So, um, and, as, and as you can see, it uh, wraps around the, uh, the uh, foyer here. And you may ask why it, it, it's uh, green. I painted it green so that so that the camera will better be able to see the materials that I'm using. This material, which is the uh, nail hole filler, it goes on pink and it dries white. And the caulk, which is going to go above and below it. Because if I didn't paint, paint this green, you would have white on white on white. And, and the caulk is white and this stuff dries white. So uh, for the camera's sake, that is why it's green. So what I have here is my, uh, is my one inch flexible blade here. You always want to use a flexible blade here so that it doesn't gouge in the wood here and so that you can put some pressure on it and it actually forces the nail hole filler into the back of the hole. Now what I'm using for that here is this stuff that's made by Tap. It goes on uh, pink and it dries white. So when it dries white you know that you're able to uh, sand it so it's good for, uh, for uh, that reason. But this stuff will shrink though so it's always important to do two coats of this and when you put it on you just push it to the back of the hole, it'll sprout out, then go back over it again so that it's perfectly smooth and then when it dries it'll dry concave so that so that there'll be like a dimple and then what you do is you, is you just load back up and you go over it one more time so it's perfectly smooth and you can't see where the nail hole was. Um, so let's get started here. I'm just gonna uh, put a little bit to the uh, to the uh, middle of the uh, blade here. Okay, and then what I do is I take it with my finger and you know, reorganize it here. Now there's two holes here and there, so I'm just gonna use my finger to uh, put those in there and then just wipe the whole thing clean there. Okay, so um, that's gonna take care of that. I'm gonna reorganize this back, back to the middle here. And once, twice, it starts to uh, pop out. Now go over it once. Any, 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 any remnants, just use your finger there to, uh, to put it back to the blade there. So I'm going to do this one here once, twice, down those. Uh, now if you do what I just did there, just use your pinky there to uh, wipe that clean there. And if there's remnants to the left or right, just get rid of that. Because you don't, when this dries, you don't want to have to sand down, um, so which creates a lot, a lot, a lot of dust. So, so you all, you only want to get this stuff in the hole, okay? So, so now there's there's uh there's three here, so we're gonna fill these. There's three here. Reorganize this, come into the corner here. There's two here. There's one in the corner here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reorganize this to the uh, to the left hand side of the blade so that when I go in the corner the material is just in the corner there. And that takes care of that one there. And now we have these two here. Okay, um, so again this is a, is a, is a going to shrink um, but when it dries you just give it like a light wipe not a, a tough sand you just do a light wipe and then you're ready to uh to uh, fill to uh, fill the holes again so um so so now what, what uh, we're going to do is we're going to uh, use this caulk on here to caulk both the sides the top and like the bottom here and i'm using a caulk called big big stretch um 